Welcome to Nightcap, the bi-weekly web show where two friends unwind with the topics that make us hot. Um, my name is Richard Pucci, and I'm with the amazing Joy. I'm a real content creator, and again, she's a live, she's a Twitch artist, she's a, she's an everything. She makes YouTubes, she used to react, now she plays games, she's always played games, she's fantastic. Um, if you don't follow her, which everybody does, follow her now at Joy Infinity. Hi! Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I actually just came back from your area. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> I was hanging out with my mama and my daddy, and there was everybody came to the house today. It was nuts. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, so in, in, intense. Yes, it was. It was very much. People hadn't seen me in so long. I have new hair, new glasses. It was a whole lot of queerness just happening in their faces, and they're like, "Wait a minute, what? I don't I haven't." The one person was like, "I hadn't seen you since you were a child." I was like, "Girl, that was before Kofefe, like literally before Kofefe got elected. That's the last time you saw me." Yeah, I changed. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a lot. How have you been? Um, I've been okay. I don't know. I'm I'm feeling a little bit on a downbeat right now. Ooh, I was feeling that, and I'm kind of trying to get out of that. Yeah. This week, last week, I was definitely down, man. Yeah, I'm like I was I was in a little bit of a, a downbeat, you know, just got a little bit of the funky funks, which mm. which happens. It happens with all of us. Um, so I'm just trying to do some self. Hello. Was that Josephine? Yes, it was the cat. She um, was, she was meh, like, <laughs> I'm like, dang. She's like, Dad. Meh. Dad. Here, wait, hold on. That was like, oh, snap. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Thank you so much. Thank you, Ronnie, for being here. She's at the door. She's meowing at the door. She's like, I want to leave. I hate it here. I hate it here. It's ghetto. She, she does. She hates it. She 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 hates living here. Woohoo. So Mr. Rodney, you're feeling a little bit of the glooms too. I know. I know. And it happens. And you know, maybe it's a little bit of the sad, the season seasonal uh affected depression or whatever. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. If it's happened to all of us, it must be something in the air. Because I hadn't felt this overwhelmed and just, like, sad about myself in a while. Like, a long while. So, I, I mean, and I was in the middle of, like, doing something. I was excited. I was waking yeah. up and doing this, like, podcast seminar thing. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, it was straight up, pew, oh. and... I was I was talking to Bibby and just being like I don't I don't know what I'm good at. Yeah. I I have no idea what what am I Yeah, it got there. Like I was cry and then even cut to what? When was that? Friday, my sweet? Or was that Thursday? No, not Thursday. It was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. Friday um No, it was Damn it, it was Friday. Anyway, I'm so sorry. It was Friday. <laughs> and um, I we received a wonderful gift from, shout out to Marquise, a wonderful guy. Um, he was trying to teach us about cutting our own hair. And he actually gave me, he, well, me, he gave us like a whole barber thing, like a clipper thing for free. And, you know, he was telling me about, like, how the, the, the way to cut my hair, like, the way to cut her hair, and, you know, about believing in yourself. And I was tearing up and crying on the street, just being like, yeah. you're speaking to me. Like, this, I needed to hear this, because yeah. I don't, I don't know what's been going on. So, what about you? How, how, not to say that we need to be all up in your business, but I'm just saying, like, have you felt kind of that way, too? Um... 
Yes and no. I think part of it part of it has to do with um just like not necessarily like work but career trajectory and just like mm. wondering like okay like like what do you want to do? How are you going to get there? Like but what do you want to do? Like you're at TikTok, you're starting to get older like really figure out what are you going to do and how are you going to get there? Um so that like that sort of thing. And so I'm kind of sort of like researching different paths that I could sort of take or that sort of makes sense. Um, so I think there's a little bit of uh, anxiety about that. Um, Add that too, especially with TikTok. Yeah. Add that too. Oh. That was one of the things that made me upset, actually. Right. TikTok? I was so TikToks? overwhelmed by trying to learn TikTok. Tick yeah, I, I got overwhelmed. Don't do not it. Not knowing how to Don't. do it. And but all people are pointing me to do it. Like I need to do it. I need to do it. That's another way to get a following another way to, you know, reach more people audiences. And I'm like, yeah, but it's, 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 and I know it's once I understand how to do it, I'll yeah. do it. But in the meantime, I'm so stuck that I don't know how to do it, that I don't do it. So it's been. Uh... The thing that I think is the funniest is like, if you look at somebody while they're still, like, figuring out TikTok, or, like, when you see somebody that has, like, a hit, if you, like, check their older stuff, like, you might see, like, them posting, like, the same thing, just, like, different tries of the same thing. It just didn't land. Yeah, it's very interesting. Because really? if, like, the algorithm didn't pick it up, or if it didn't have the right hashtags, yeah, no, it's interesting. How somebody that could be, like, how somebody could be, like, popular... But, like, various posts of theirs, like, didn't take off. Yeah. Uh, Rodney's saying, huh. well, you don't need to do it, but it could possibly help with your engagement. And that's exactly the way that it is. Um, I was going to say, unfortunately, anything like that really takes time to understand how it works. Um, so, yeah, he's right. But if, if it's getting to the point where it causes you anxiety, um, it's not worth it. The, the growth that you've seen thus far has been organic. And that's yeah. really fantastic. Yeah, that's what I was trying to, like, get back to. Like, even just, and Rodney knows, but, like, I, I was asking them for help. I was just like, yeah. what do you guys want to see? Like, I'm, I'm at this point in my life now where I'm like, okay, <laughs> what should I do? And, of course, and then they helped me before, you know, like, telling me like what it, what is it about me like i i really was trying to like not rip myself to pieces but really be like what is it about me that y'all like for real for real like why do y'all come back what why because there's tons of black girls that do this every day all the time but why me though and this is not an ego trip and i just was like yeah. i don't i don't understand like is is it something that I'm doing that's not say quote unquote better, but what is it about me that keeps you coming back? And then they, and I, what's your I, special I, sauce? I yeah. What is it about me? That's like specifically, like I look forward to seeing you every time. And I mean, my only, my first really first experience has been with this. Yeah. Um, so, you know what I would, I would say you're approachable. Like, that's something that I would say 99.9% .9 of the other viewers in gen or the other uh, streamers, like, yeah. I, I, I sort of don't feel like there's a level of approachability, like to where like, if I were to like comment or say something to the person, I'd be like, Oh, can I say that? Blah, blah, blah. I feel like your, like, your audience, like, they don't have to worry about that. It's just joy. Like, you're just joy. That's it. Yeah. And um, I appreciate that. Yeah. Cause that's all I've, yeah. and and I mean I, again this was I mean I'm talking yeah, about yeah. like this was just like last week, yeah. Figuring all this out like what do how why like I it's what do you and like you said what do what do we do now where do we go from here? Yeah, because it's it's not enough to just do Twitch streaming like this is not at all revenue like what should we yeah. be doing now and we're 30 ish now and not just this I'm just saying like in general yeah 
And, you know, my, luckily, thank God for you all. Thank for, thank God for you all for just being like, all right, look, here's what we can do. Here's what we can try. Here's what we're going to do. Maybe, have you tried this? Let's suggest this. Da, da, da. So I'm just like, okay, like, let's, let's do this. So, yeah. Ronnie, and Ronnie, thank you for, like, literally. It's like you're approachable. Ronnie. Yo, <laughs> Ronnie damn near has us at his house. We just didn't yeah. book the tickets yet <laughs> to go and eat his food. We're damn near at Ronnie's kitchen table. We're just trying. <laughs> Bibby and I are there. We're just yeah. waiting to eat. That's how approachable Ronnie is. Ronnie has <laughs> been incredible from jump, you know? Oh, oh, absolutely. Since episode two. And he could have been a whole catfish. <laughs> He could be the guy that's like, oh, I don't know, I'm lying to these bitches, I don't care. But no, yeah. Ronnie has been like, this is who I am, this is what I look like, if you need help, please let me know. Like, he's always been approachable. Aww. So, thank you, Ronnie, for not being a creepo sex offender. Yeah. <laughs> like, man. I was, I was gonna say, Rodney helps me with Resident Evil. So... Mm. Yeah, Ronnie, laughing at Ronnie me. has been laughing at me playing during a snowstorm. He's been like the most committed. Like honestly, Ronnie will come out and he will support us. It, no questions asked. Like he has been very dedicated. He never met us. He never met any of us. I'm just like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> he like forget these people, but no, he really has. Like it's it's definitely been a changing for it, a changing. Mark in the in our in our lives that you've oh, been yeah. here. Heck yeah. I was gonna say plus we're at like five years, so woo five. Definitely five. And you are not a creeper. Definitely oh, no. not a creeper, Ronnie. We then we name we <laughs> named people after you. Yeah, yeah. That's our fans are Rodney's. <laughs> They're Rodney's. Like we got we got Rodney, then we got Rodney Rick, then we got uh, Rodney <laughs> Ting. Rodney Ting. <laughs> And we got uh, Rodney Chris. Yeah, Rodney Chris. Oh, shout out to Chris. Boom. Yeah. He's not here yet, but he will be. He'll be listening. <laughs> yeah. We got eventually, eventually Rodney Opal, even though we know yeah, Opal. Yeah. But we knew we knew her before this. But yeah, Rodney Opal. Yeah. Rodney's. Ooh, Ooh like how Miss we, we Joy. The whole thing after him. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I was Mr. Gonna... Richard Tucci. Look at the hair. Uh Excuse me. Yes, exactly. Ooh. I had to counteract the, um, the Fabio moment with a burp. I'm, I do apologize. Um, I was gonna say, um, you playing anything? You doing anything? What What's up? Um. So, I'm obsessed with Life is Strange: True Colors right now. Obsessed. I was. I haven't. I haven't started. Okay. I haven't started and I know nothing about it other than the main character kind of looks like somebody I know. Ah! We literally play it. Okay, so I'm playing it like we're all playing it, right? But I'm basically calling her my Bibi. Yeah. The yeah. whole time. Yeah. And yeah. Bibi is in the background, like saying things. <laughs> We had a whole gay moment last time, like not the last time we played, but the time before that. Hella gay moment. Yeah. She she spoke, she she told us on stream the first time someone ever asked her out loud if she was gay. Like ever. Oh. It was a whole moment, dude. Whole moment. It was crazy. Yeah. It was that. We had a raid. I changed my raid sounds. It's this game has been crazy. Like it's been a yeah. really nice experience. This is except, your this could be your mo this is your moment. This is your moment. This game. Feel that way? Oh my god. It does. It does. And I'm going to play it again. Yeah. As her. Like we're we're going to Bibi is going to sit down and we're going to talk out like what she really would pick because right now we're doing crowd choice where it's multiple people making the choice. Yeah. Th this next go round is just going to be what she chooses. Oh, so I'm really excited to, you know, have her. I mean, and and then we cut her hair so she doesn't look like the character right now. Yeah. But her hair is going to grow out in weeks from now. And she's going to look like Alex Chen. Like, it's going to be insane. Yeah. But really, she's going to look like Tintastic because that's what yeah. she looked like. <laughs> game is nuts. Love it. That's that's the main game I'm playing on stream. 
Uh, we just finished. Before that, we were playing um, um, Oxen Free. Okay. That was a crazy game. That was a very, to me, creepy, scary game. Yeah. That was good. Um, on on my own, I was playing Dot Hack Fragment. I started it again for the third time, so we're gonna. <laughs> so I kept mess. I kept doing. I kept restarting. Yeah. The game, and when you restart the game, it like clears out your whole inventory, so you can't mm. do it in- inappropriately. So. Yeah. And uh... then. Of course, I think we talked about NBA Street 2, right? NBA Street 2 and Downhill Domination. We spoke about you, those. I think you might have mentioned it. Yeah, so we spoke about those games. That those, I haven't played those yet, again, but I yeah. played them. And I think that's... That's about it right now. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Bibi introduced me to this game. Um, Shoot. My sweet. What's that game we played on the Switch together? It was fun. It was you as a person. Huh? Prime? Oh, Trine. What was it? Number four? Trine four. Thank you, my sweet. So it's called Trine, T R I N E four. Uh And that was pretty fun on the Switch. And I like playing, I like playing games with her, like in general. But that game on the Switch was really fun. And then we played the game, uh, just the two of us. It's called It Takes Two. Yeah, we played that the demo. That was that was fun. God, I'm all over the place. Ugh. Oh, how about you? <laughs> lots of lots of I was gonna say you did lots as far as gaming. Typically yeah. you don't have typically you don't have a laundry list of games. I know. That's why I was like, well, let me reflect, because it wasn't just me, it was her too. We were playing together, so yeah. We have to I eventually I'm going to buy it takes two. What well, you know if when it gets on sale or something, baby, baby Sid. How about you? How what you playing? What you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so boring right now. Um, oh. I I'm like legitimately boring. Um, so I started. Um, so on PlayStation Four, I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Okay. Um. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight because they have something called the Archive. So when you play the game, there are um, updates to like basically different pathways that you can take with different challenges. And it opens up for a book. And if you complete them all, like each tier for a level, it's like a battle pass where you get certain levels for completing different things. And for the first time ever... I think there's there's 70 levels and I'm at like 52 right now. And so I get like free rewards, but like the in my head I'm like okay, if I make it to like 70 then I'll pay the $10 for like the battle pass cuz then I'll get all this stuff underneath it. So I'm just trying okay. to I'm trying my darndest to fill it up cuz like if it's not um cuz like if I don't make it to like 70 I'm like it's stupid like like no, I, I'm only going to do it if yeah, I'm only gonna do it if I like unlock all the stuff, because like, yeah. cause, like ten dollars. Okay, so Dead by Daylight is such an interesting game because the amount of the amount of gratification that I've gotten from this game is more than the base price, which is why I have no problem paying for. I have no problem paying for like new killers, okay. like for the licensed killers. I have no problem paying money, um, because X amount of that money has to go towards the licensing agreement, whatever. Um, but when it comes to like like their own custom killers that they make or custom survivors, you can earn those with in, in game points that you earn. Nice. Like it, okay. it, it, it takes a while to get them, but it takes time. But the thing about it is, is that in my head, I'm like, well, I've had this game for five years. I'm like, if I had, if I had a final fantasy, if I had a, a game that required a subscription, like a 10 month subscription, like, like I would have spent way more money. So that's why like me giving them money. I'm like, sometimes I'm just like, I'm just like, whatever, What's like, the point? It, I was going to say the servers, you know, it keeps the servers on, it keeps everything going, it, it keeps updates happening, honestly. Yeah. So that's like my like take on that sort of thing. Um, so fun fact, um, which Joy already knows this, I got a new computer. Ah, that's a surprise, y'all. I teased ah. them. I teased them last I night. Say, boom. 
Boom. I teased them last night. I was like, Ricky has a surprise. Look at that. Look at that. It's a new computer. Okay. It's, it's a tiny little thing. Tiny little guy. It is a MacBook Air. See? That's I was like, look at that. It's okay. Now, it do does it have the juice of my other one? It probably has more, but as far as like specs, like, no, like, like, it's not a pro. It's not a MacBook Pro, but in my head, I was like, uh, the MacBook That's not Air. What you're it for. I was like, I can just like, I'm like, I can stream. I can like play The Sims 4, like shitty, like little, like rinky dink thing. Sims 5 probably wouldn't play on it in my in my heart i'm like i know that that's true but i was it's okay so i got my old computer i believe it was like august 27th nine years ago so yeah. i'm like oh i'm like so in my head i'm like for nine years like that was like a, a that was a great investment um i was gonna say i know i know that a lot of a majority of our fans hate max but mm. i'm just saying that it wasn't until like the last year that like my computer was really starting to like crawl Feel. but it was also because i was doing things that my computer was definitely not equipped for mm -hmm. <laughs> like my computer was not equipped for any of the like i was streaming on my computer i was streaming obs on my nine-year-old computer while oh, using yeah. a gra like a graphical chip thing, like that's cr like that's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah. Newer computers would have a hard time with that. That and that, but that's why I say like that computer, like that computer, that was a that was a great computer. Yeah, um, and no, I'm use it. yeah. So you still have it, right? You know, you still yeah. Have no, no, no. I still have it. I'm gonna um like all my backups for my photos. So this is so this is really just going to be like my workhorse for when I need something mm -hmm. that's going to be a little bit more powerful. But for the most part, like I'm not gonna. Uh, here we go. Uh, but the one thing that is sad is is that they um they don't illuminate the the light anymore. Dang, yeah, they took it they got, back, back. Yeah, they got rid of it. Yeah, that How and, and that actually makes me very. <gasps> actually, it's funny when I tell you I woke up. I like, like I woke up and I like wasn't having a like I hate my computer sort of day mm. because I wasn't. And then all of a sudden I like watched a video and it was it was talking it was legit. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video and it was just like I I did the update on my phone and I was watching a video and it was like oh um, MacBook Airs don't have or like MacBooks don't have the illuminated light. Here's the reason why they got rid of it. And then it like said the thing and then all of a sudden like something. It was like, it was like I was a sleeper cell and the phrasing of like, why do MacBooks no longer have illuminated Apple lights? And I was just like, I need a new computer. I, that's legitimately wow. the course of action. I was just like, I need a new computer. I need a new computer now. And I, I was, I said to Cupid who was finishing up with work, I was like, I need to get a new computer. I'm like, I'm, and I think part of the reason why was because I did a majority, I did all of the paying for stuff for my like tooth. Um, I already did, I handled all that sort of stuff. So mm. I knew I didn't have to be like, oh, but we, uh, uh. I don't know. I was like, no, that. it's fine. Just, just I was like, blow the money, waste the money. It's fine. Uh, I, I know that it's not really a waste, but in my head, I'm just like, well, your computer still like turns on, so it's fine. But like in my head, I was like, no, just do it. You've wanted it for a while. You've been waiting forever. So just do it. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. One of my best friends, she she got another computer, too. And I was just like, OK, like if you want that, you totally did. It. Like do it. You got the money for it. Yeah. No, I was going to say, especially considering PlayStation 5 is like nowhere near going to be um, distributing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> It's funny. Wait, I um, I did some research. It was like, oh yeah, there's hard to like find. Like they're having trouble like finding rare earth elements to make it. I'm like, look. like that's crazy. I was like, and they're taking these rare earth elements and they're putting it into a PlayStation Five. And I was gonna say, and five years from now, it's gonna be considered obsolete, and you're gonna need the updated version of it. That's fucking crazy. Rare yeah. earth elements, really. Yeah, that's how nuts this is. That's why I'm like, I don't care until 
it's like PlayStation 5 Mini or PlayStation 5 yeah. Pro Max Plus, whatever the hell they're going to do. Well, especially considering the fact that they are still continuing to make games or the games for both um, both systems. And if they are doing terribly with the sourcing of um, the consoles, then they're going to be doing it for a while. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Let's see. Rodney says um, Rodney doesn't he doesn't hate Max per se, but he just wouldn't buy one. Um, and then he says that he has a hookup. At, <laughs> he has got a hookup at Best Buy now. Uh, one of my friends started working there part time. Ha ha. Yeah. Oh, that's where I got. My, that's where I got my computer. Oh, you know, I was asking where you went to. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Uh, it was fifty. It was fifty dollars off, which that like Max are never on sale. So like fifty fifty dollars from it's always like a third party uh, store will have like sort of sales, um, but. I went to Best Buy and it was literally because I'm like, I'm not going to go to the Apple. Like he was like, he was like, I was like, I can get it at Best Buy. I don't know. For some reason I'm like, I'm like, I don't need the experience. I don't need the, ex the I'm going to Apple experience. Like sometimes that's fun just to like feel fancy for a half a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. My, my, whole, my whole non-fancy experience was buying my iPad with my unemployment money. At Best Buy. Like, that was my fancy, <laughs> bougie moment. So I feel you on that. Yeah, there's, um, so, but yeah, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go freaking go to Best Buy. Um, I, it's funny, too, because, like, I waited there at the, I waited there at the counter, and, like, nobody was coming to the thing. So finally, I, like, walked over to customer service, and I'm like, I'd like to buy a computer. And the girl walked over, and she's like, oh, okay, hi, I heard you wanted to buy a computer. I was like, yeah, I want this one. She's like, you're ready? I'm like, yeah, no, I want this one right there. Like, that's it. Right now. Like, when I just, I'm like, I've been thinking about this for like four years. Like, yeah, yeah. And I feel like, I don't, I feel like we are a rare breed, sir. Because when I go to buy something and I know I've already done my research, I've already clearly determined the, the comparisons. I want yeah. this. And they're like, are you sure? What about, the no, I don't want the thing. I want that one. Yeah. specifically and if you're telling me it's not in that color i'm like uh mm, mm, okay i might lean to the other color but that's what ended up i got my ipad in gold like yeah. i wasn't even trying to get gold it's just yeah. they didn't have the silver one or something i was like all right fine and I'll you wanted it right then it. yeah and and i was like it right there yeah. i want it now and uh, why can't i just have it now and then like okay well if you get this one you'll get like more space it's just gold and i was like uh, uh okay like sure <laughs> So yeah, other than that, I'm like, I always, if yeah. I'm going in the store, I know what I want. So shout yeah. out to you. And sometimes, and also sometimes when it comes to like that, like, like I wanted it to today. Yeah. Like when it comes to that, it's like, I'm not buying it online. I want it right now. I want it right now. Uh, it's funny. Uh, Cupid was like, oh, I found this like deal. It's like, um, like I, it might've been like a hundred dollars off instead of 50. I was like, no, I was like, the whole point of it is, is that I want it now. Like yeah. that's. Like that's the point is is that I want it right now. Like, and yep. I know that sounds really terrible, but like, when no. you, I'm just like, no, now I want it now. Um, that's that's Bibby. Bibby <laughs> will be the one. I'm putting this fan on. Bibby will be the one that's like, oh, I found this. I found a deal. I'd be like, okay, bye. Like, I just, yeah. And I just press the buy, ship today. Like, if if we're yeah. gonna do something. But normally, yeah, like like you said, if we're going out physically to buy a thing, I'm buying the thing today. Yeah. It's yep. going to be in the car today, like five yeah. minutes from now. So, I, yeah, I feel you. Ooh, Ronnie has a hookup that sells MacBook Pros, gets from his job. They're just semi-older models. Well, I wish I knew that a little sooner, but actually I'm I'm very happy with, a, with an Air, mm. just for the portability of it. Uh, I feel like with an air, um, and I also have like one of those like clip on the hard the hard uh, clamshell cases. Oh, I don't yeah, know if you yeah, remember yeah. the ones that they used to have in like different colors years ago. Yeah, yeah. I so, that. I, I, so I have um, one of those, which I think kind of dates me as far as like I feel like kids nowadays like they're like, no, why would you put a case on it? And I'm like, I'm gonna put a case on it because, um, yeah, I um, so I got one of those little cases. So I feel like I'm more likely to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to, you know, just put it in my bag and 
um, and use it at work or whatever. Like there's something nice about having an air because, oh my God, in the battery life on this thing, it's like 18 hours. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'd be charging my sh my thing for a, a while and then I take it off and then eventually it dies and then I can put it back on. 18 yeah. hours. It's like 18 hours for like most services. I I opened it up. I opened it up and I was using it last night. I was um, I did some uh, PlayStation 4 remote play. So I did okay. some remote play. I like went on The Sims for like a hot minute. Um, and then I like watched some videos and it still had like 40%. And when I opened it, it was at 70%. And like those yeah. things are not, those things aren't like reading a, an ebook or something or like listening to a podcast. Those are hard expensive. usage. Yeah. So like, yeah. and I didn't charge, I didn't charge it when I got it. It like had 70% off the, off the bat. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I no, know. I, mm -mm. Yeah, no. So I'm so like that means like if I were to take it with me, like I don't need to bring a charger. It's it's good. So, yeah. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, sorry if that's uh okay, sorry, uh too much uh Apple talk. Uh TV, any TV for you? Um, so we caught up uh, we have to catch up again on nine perfect strangers on Hulu. Oh, mm -hmm. We've been yeah. watching it, and I have opinions. I have opinions. Uh, how far are you in? Uh, we are past the birthday. In fact, I think we are an episode uh, past the birthday. Okay. I feel like we are also an episode past the actual birthday. Did you see two people kissing? Yes. I'm going to say... You can say the names. It's fine. I'm not that invested. Melissa, Melissa McCartney's character and... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. We're okay. there. Oh. So we started watching huh? the, the next... Oh, I thought, I, thought she was, I thought she was behind me. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. We started watching the next episode. We got like two minutes into it and both of us, like, we got like, we like saw the premise and we were like, <laughs> both of us looked at each other. We're like, no, we're, like we're done. <laughs> We're done with the show. Like for, it's for jumped the, new, the sharp, huh? For like the new, the upcoming ones, like the like trailer, the, the, the the or the episode after, like the episode after, like they like made out or whatever. Like we were like, I was just like, in my head, I was like, this is just so far gone of what I expected. I'm like, I'm done. Was it like when the police, like it was a bunch of police and stuff that was rolling up to the place? No, I didn't get that far. Okay, so we watched a trailer, not even watched the whole, I don't think we watched the whole trailer, but yeah. it was like a preview of whatever's coming up this Wednesday, and it was like, police were storming the resort, and it was like, ah, like, and then we were like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm done, like, I'm done. I'm do I'm like, I just don't, I, like, we, I guess we went into it, and we wanted it to be, like, so good, and for some reason, I'm not there. I, we are there. That's just me. Are you there? We're there because Nicole Kidman is this. She's got yeah. me in trans. This 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 crazy crazy heifer. She doesn't have me. She doesn't have yo, me. <laughs> Nicole Kidman being this Russian crazy bit. Yo, she's, she's got. Well, it's 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 all the characters though. For real, it's not even just her. It's it is everyone. Um, even uh, freaking. I mean, what's his name? Yao. Yao has my heart because of Manny Jacinto. Like Jacinto, I love him from the place and his yep. fine ass and him with the black girl and the black girl being bipolar. Oh my God, there's just yeah. so much. And, and freaking Regina Hall. Like, come on. Like, she's, she's, love her. Um, Melissa McCartney, like, and, and her husband, because he be having cameos and shit in the whole, in the, in the show. Uh, yeah, to me, everyone in there, and even okay, so the one that we're kind of obsessed with, but not really obsessed with, but when they show up, they show up. The Australian staff worker yes. with the short hair. Something yes. about this bitch is off. I don't know. We don't know what it is yet, but this bitch is off, and we like it. So, he, I, oh, maybe it's because of the fact that um, either she or they um, like uh, do the dosages. So, something about them yeah. so is, intrigues me but yeah. also makes me want to keep my eye on them yeah yeah just because they 
I don't know about them. It's just they seem pretty neutral. So I wanted to stay with like neutral, neutral terms just in case. Um, mm, of course, of course. Um, and even the the family, Wolfgang, and the his whole family thing, and the and the brother, and oh my god, that was a lot. To oh my gosh! Or how about the guy that won the lottery? Which in my head, I'm like, they're those two people. They're going to be the new version of uh, Yao. Oh, the the black guy. Yeah, so the black no, the black guy and the, his wife. Yeah, he won the lottery. Yo. Her performance with the nose, dear God, it scared me. It yeah. scared me. I was, I that was like the most emotion I ever felt for her. Not to say that I didn't, I didn't like her, but I just like, damn girl, I need to explore your trauma. Like, what, what's, what is this, <laughs> sis? What is this? Yeah, he's gonna, he might, yeah, he might be. I was gonna say, I have a feeling that, um, that, you know, um, her her favorite her favorite couple that helps like they're gonna leave and it's they're gonna end up staying just because of the, the way that i sort of feel mm. their growth as far as like enjoying and really drinking the kool-aid and enjoying the program oh yeah if the black guy stays which you know of course i want them to get more screen time before like you know mm. besides them having sex in the hot tub and whatnot but yeah i, I want them to have more screen time and um I'm trying to think of who else Oh, and of course, what's his name? Uh, the sexy dude. The is it? What's his name? Luke Wilson? Not Luke Wilson. May he rest in peace. Um, the the guy, the sexy journalist dude. Yeah. Who had a who had a dream? He was pregnant. That was crazy. That was so funny. That was Loved actually it. really fantastic. Yeah. Loved it. Uh, so him. Yeah. No, that was great. <laughs> yeah, I love and even going back to Regina Hall, like her character, I definitely felt bad for, but I didn't think it was going to get this intense. And then the whole, just... well, go ahead. I was going to say, you just thought she was a little kooky. Yeah. Like she was just, I mean, I thought she was me for a hot second. She was just really nice and, you know, just quiet and just kind of like, Oh, I don't know. Like in the, not uh, yeah, shy no. joy, like in the beginning, beginning, not me now, but I thought, oh, you know, I hope Regina Regina's character is like really, really good, and then she, whoo, anger, man, and her ex husband, and freaking whatever her name is, I forgot the, the Russian lady's name already because I'm not watching it. But girl, man, look, <laughs> stress, yeah, stress. But yeah, um, <laughs> even the girl. The twin. I I I really not to say I had no sympathy for her, but I knew that something. <laughs> oh God, I knew. I, I caught that from you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry because I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable now in the share. Oh my God. Um, even the girl, like I knew something was, you know, no, just the girl, the mom, the da yeah. yo, the dad. The dad yo. is really fantastic. Jeez! Like, I, I, I was going to say, if somebody was listening to this that never saw this show, it's like legitimately us describing like people uh, and going like, "Oh no, mm, uh huh, yeah, you didn't know. Oh no, yeah." Look, the dad had me in Wolfgang or yeah. what's his name and um Napoleon, freaking yeah, Napoleon. Napoleon. Had me in my feelings because when he found out that thing about his wife, I was like, oh, snap. He finna go. Like, he finna go. I was going to say, that was actually really fantastic as far as character choices. Mm. Um, because it's like, you wouldn't necessarily think that it would go that way. So, like, that, that I was like, yes. That was good. And, and the way that the, the wife had the breakdown mm -hmm. and just, I, and then they're like, and especially the, the especially the black girl, you know it's whole fiction when the black girl's like, okay, y'all, we need to be reasonable here. Like, don't you think this is too much? And no, maybe it's not fiction. But Nicole Kidman's character's like, nonsense, me child. We will be doing the thing that we don't want us to do. And she's like, fuck this. And then this, she's like, why aren't you been taking your meds, dear? Like, it's just it's <laughs> so much stuff in this show. I'm yeah. obsessed. I'm I'm done. I'm, I'm obsessed. I, I'm gonna um. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go back to watching that, and I have to tell I have to tell 
it was just one of those things that we sat down for an episode. We watched like two minutes of it and both of us looked at each other and we were like, not feeling it. No, this is like, wow. No, like, nope, 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 yeah, nope. We, we're purposely not watching episodes so that we can just binge them all. Yeah. Because we're just so, I mean, we, we take, we've taken weekends and just been like, all right, we're going to watch this. We get in our snacks. We go sit on down and we just gonna sit in this yeah. and discover things and be like, oh my God. Like it was just yeah. so, you know, and of course we want to get back to Handmaid's Tale, but yeah. we haven't done that. And then of course with um Oh, HBO, we finished that. We finished season, Handmaids. We we finished we we up but we finished season one. Okay. But we need to continue with the next one. Yeah. So we haven't done that yet. So I was gonna say, yeah, Handmaids is pretty good most of it. Most of it. Uh, after a while, I have very strong opinions towards things, but um, mm. um, that's in the future. I'll talk to you about it then. Um, I we have been watching American Horror Story. It's like okay. the tenth season or whatever, and they they have two different themes. Um, the one theme is like about. Alien? These magical pills. Oh, okay. It, they're about pills that make people creative. They're they're like creativity pills that like this chemist woman like figured out how to make this. So, but the thing about it is, is that um, they make you hungry for blood. Oh. <laughs> they make you hungry for blood, and also the thing about it is, is that if you're a hack, so if like if you actually don't have talent, um, you actually. You're, you lose all your hair and you become like a zombie person. Oh. Like, yeah. But if you do have talent, then like um, all of your wildest dreams can come true based on your talent. Yeah. But you just have to drink blood. But yeah, yeah. You gotta like drink blood. It like kill people. You just have this hunger. It's like a side effect. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't. I think creatively that would be my jam, but also like no, that's not my jam. <laughs> I'm like no. Oh my gosh, uh, the funniest thing, um, it's a semi spoiler, probably not, um, is so there was a character, um, the you know, um, since it's it's a double feature, so I think only like four or five episodes or six episodes are meant for this one story, and then they're gonna have another story, and. I was so upset because um, one of the characters was very adamant about something and they basically got forced to not um, to not go with their gut on something. Mm -hmm. And I was just like very upset about it. And I was like, I was like, no, that was the wrong choice. Like it was just one of those moments in watching something where I'm like, I'm like, no, they chose the wrong choice. Like, I, I don't know if that's, like, my brain now, like, wanting to be a writer. I'm just like, no, that's actually not interesting. Like, you went the less interesting route. And, like, Cupid was like, well, maybe it's because they only have six episodes, so they can't, like, do, like, a weird twist. Like, like they can't go the weird route. And I was like, well, they went the less interest. Like, in my mind, I'm like, it's not as, in like, they could have made it so much more interesting. Yeah. I don't think there was enough time invested into this, like to, into that particular plot of the story. Yeah, they could have changed no. it for at least for TV. Yeah, no, I was, I was just, I was very upset. I was like, I was like, they made the wrong choice. Um, <laughs> um, I was gonna say, you watching anything, anything else? I'm trying to. Um, I guess I'm almost done. Uh, watch and finish. Dot hack sign. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I it's know. like your go-to. <laughs> no, it, but it it kind of is. But Thanks. the thing, so we, so Bibi and I went to a housewarming party on Saturday, and it was fun. And one of the guests there, as friend of the host that for the party, I mean for the housewarming, and the person, the person asked me like, so like, do you, are you do you watch anime? Like, are you watching any anime, manga? Are you into that? And I was like, yeah. And then, you know, they were like, well, what do you watch? And I was like, ah, uh, so sorry. This is going to be old and I'm only doing this because it's nostalgia. And they're like, well, what is it? And I was like, dot hack sign. And then they're like, damn, that's old. 
what is wrong with you? I'm like, I know. I'm sorry. It's nostalgia. That's why I prefaced it before I yeah. said it. But yeah, I was just saying, you know, I before that, yeah, I watched. I was like, my latest animes were Beast Beast Stars, which had me like horny because they're animals and they're animals, it's weird animal. Th- they're human. The animal, you know what I'm trying to say? Like they're like, they, yes. So that made me feel sexy and then i saw you know my hero academia but i'm not caught up at all with that and then i saw what food wars two episodes of food wars and i just i (laughs) i don't know like anime anime hasn't really grabbed me as much as it as it used to before i think when i was at that age being 14 15 16 the characters were 14 15 16 now i'm friggin 30 something years old and these kids are like gosh Jason Kuhn, I don't like how you do da, 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 da. Like it's just not as appealing and just oh my god and right and then it's just oh my god this is like the last oh and I was watching Avatar a while yeah. back but I stopped like it's just there's yeah. just it might it might I, I was mm. I was gonna say I think it sort of stems from the fact that the extremes that there's something about being young and watching anime just because it's so polarized you know what i mean like like the stereotypes and the and the like everybody feels everything so passionately unless they're like stoic and they're like no i feel nothing you know what i mean? like it's just very yeah. like, hur, hur. it's like uh, it's harsh lines and i'm not talking about the stylization i'm talking about like just the way that everybody Watch. acts in it yes um because even I- before that like i was watching more slice of life stuff yeah. Just basic shit. Like people going to work. I wanted to like freaking um Agresco. Yeah. Was that, was... I was gonna say that's prime example of like Love something that. that and I and I think that there's a reason why uh like I, that culturally that sort of like hit a lot of people and it's because like it's not just like like yes, Agretzko like does hit you with the feels when it's like oh extreme like the rage. Like yeah, yes, yeah. We, we we get that. But as far as like needing to have it buttoned down and like the fact that it's very mundane because mm. we are grown now and like 99.9% of our lives are very, are Chill. Uh, uh, like, t- yes, you need to keep things, you know, dialed back just a little bit in order to exist in society. Unlike when you're yeah. in high school or whatever and like you walk down the hall and you'd be like, you mr blah 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 you know like you could just like freak out and like for the unless you like physically bodily harm somebody like nothing really could happen you know exactly exactly and i feel that because the only other anime that was recent was the whole was carol and tuesday but carol and tuesday was more in tune with my like fan fiction, music fan fiction side where I was like, oh my God, they made a whole anime that had to, re- that references music and there's a black woman, there are black people in it. It's yeah. not just Japanese people and then this yeah. dark skin character that they're pretending is not black, but it is. It's like, it's just, it, that yeah. one was okay. There's a black girl with braids and she's got overalls and Tim's and there's this white girl with, with blonde hair and she's a keyboardist and they're, it's just their journey to be the best band ever. That's all I cared about. Like, so, you know. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Because I, 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 I feel like if I tried to explain it to without this proper, you know, conversation, people would be like, what? What is wrong with you? And I'm like, no. It's not it just, it does, anyway. It's, I was going to say, if anything, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't. I would say it doesn't hit you in the feels with like you're going through it at the same time. Like we can watch something like that and be like, oh, I remember what that was like. You know what I mean? But as far as like, mm-hmm. like you're not like thinking like, oh my God, that's exactly how I feel. My parents suck. You know, like, yeah. like you don't have that, like, in which case I'm like, oh, my parents are, they're like, okay. Like they do every, like they're rationally making the best choices that they can or they're making, like they think what they think because um, life, ex- like, life has taught them to think that way like it's understandable like they'll learn um like you re- like there's more rationalization now in just in life but that just goes with being more mature of course and that's why i i feel the way that i do <laughs> so i'm like 
just just watching uh uh lo fi beats on on YouTube with the girl like sleeping. Does that yes. count as watching anime? Because like definitely like uh, yeah. I would be like lo fi the girl sleeping during lo fi beats. I watch anime. I love the girl with the headphones and she's like studying. Oh, I love um, that. No, no, I like the one like lying on her bed, just like with the hair, just like. No. Oh no, no, I haven't. I haven't seen that. No, I haven't. I mean, if you want to send it, you can totally send it. Yeah. But it was so. It was so. She's cool wearing clothes, because... Joy. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I assume she was, but there was on Twitter, one of the people that works for Life is Strange, True True Colors. She, someone in the office suggested a collaboration with lo, with Lo-Fi Beats or with whatever yeah. the whatever the band is or whatever the Chill Hop Radio, yeah. and they did it. And it's the character of Alex Chen sitting at the desk with the studying or whatever. And I was like, that's Aww. so dope. And I and I and I saved that video so I can watch it and have it on the background or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's dope. Aww. But no, I don't think that counts. But we'll make it count for you. <laughs> I was going to say, that totally counts. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, all right. And we're getting low on time. So I'm just going to I'm gonna say the one thing that I'm excited about. I am excited about um, we want to watch. Uh, we want to go see two things uh, movie-wise. I want to. We almost saw it this weekend. But I... Um, I was a, like a little bitch and I was like, no, I don't want to go to the movies. Cause I just wanted to like be at home, which is funny. Cause Cupid was like, well, we could do all this stuff that you like. And I was like, I'm tired. I just got home <laughs> on Saturday and I'm tired and I don't want to do anything. Um, mm-hmm. So I want to see it in the eyes of Tammy Faye. And then eventually um, Halloween kills is going to be coming out. And I am not watching any trailers for it. Um, okay because trailers give out way too much info like i'm just i'm so like i'm done with trailers yeah um like if it's a, if it's a thing that you know you want to watch i'm not going to watch like i'm not i don't want any spoilers a lot of times you can like watch a movie and like a majority of it is spoiled it's in the trailer yeah um so that's the my takeaway that's what i'm excited for how about you any movies or that you watched or you're excited about? Yes. So uh, Bibi and I, I want us to see Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. We were thinking about seeing it on Saturday, but then it was like, nah, we stayed at the housewarming the whole time and it was later than when we were supposed to leave. So eventually we'll make our way somewhere, some way into a movie theater and watch Shang-Chi. And uh, this upcoming Saturday, we're going to go to a soccer game. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be the women's soccer game. It's not a men's soccer oh. game this time. It's the actual because I've I've wanted to support this team yeah. for so long, and every time it was just it wasn't really the right time to like watch yeah. them. So now it's before their season ends. We're finally gonna be able to see them play, and I'm just like, yes, let's do it. Oh, so, that's yeah. exciting! Yeah, I want to get was- a jersey and everything. Like, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you're you're gonna be like Miss Soccer, Miss Football. Yeah, I, I'm all about it. Like it's because I it and not to say it dawned on me today or something, but it just it is it isn't fair as a cisgendered born assigned at female assigned female at birth, yeah. whatever, that I don't support women's sports teams. Like at all. Like it's not to say like I I despise them. I'm just saying like I openly don't watch them. I don't know about them. Yeah. And if I did, I really didn't give them much thought. And not to be like men, you know, my men's sports teams are better, but it's just everyone expects you, if they ask you what's your favorite team, you have to say one of the male dominated sports. And it's whether NFL, a you know, MLB, yeah. whatever, MLS. It's just so many things that you can pick from hockey. So I'm like, why don't I support women's teams? Why don't I watch women's basketball? Why don't I watch women? Like the most I'll probably watch anything women dominated has been just the Olympics. Yeah. And I'm down to watch, you know, my track and field events. I love gymnastics. I love synchronized swimming. I love certain things. But I'm like, you know what? It sucks that I've been to this. I've been to a male soccer game two, three times 
and I've never seen the women play. Hell, I don't yeah. think the women ever get a commercial about. Mm. My, I told my I, I told my mom I was going to see the soccer game Saturday. She's like, oh yeah, I've seen you know commercials for Red Bulls. I've seen commercials for you know soccer, and I'm like, yeah, it sucks that our state has a whole women's soccer team and we don't even have commercials for them like that's messed up and they probably do not get paid as much as the men do and yeah i'm like i should just really show my support and get some note like some you know support behind them and get their not to say like i'm gonna be the one to get their names out there because they got fans but i want to be a hardcore supporter and i really do want us to be like no it's it's enough about the men i already i already wear the men's jersey i already do stuff i already support them whatever and, and my favorite dude on the team, he just left. So I'm like, look, I'm done. We're going to support women hard, hardcore now. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> he left. I was supposed to – I was thinking about going to see that game on September. It was actually September 11th. And he left. That was his last game. And I was like, you know what? F that. I'm going to support the women's – just because, you know, before before he left, I'm like, I want to support the women's team. So, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm excited about. Thank you. Awesome. No problem. No problem. I was going to say, Mr. Rodney, I'm happy that Lo-Fi Beats helps you sleep sometimes. I um, I have mm. to be honest. I um, I wear one of these guys in my ear, and I listen to a, a podcast very, very lowly. Uh, mm. I find that if I don't, um, I can't sleep because my mind is racing too much. Oh, okay. So I will, I will just listen to to the same podcast like over and over again like like i will listen to the same episodes because i it's literally just background noise just because i can't like just because I'm, I'm thinking oh i could have done this i could have done that oh my gosh so luckily if i listen keep something in my ear i'm like oh yeah and it's always like a podcast where like somebody's recapping an episode of like a show i'm just like oh yeah uh... Um, to recap, but, da, da, da. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, you know what I think it is. I think it's because growing up, I always like the TV in our room. Mm. I always like we would. I would always keep. I would fall asleep with the TV on. Oh. And Cupid does not fall asleep with the TV on. Okay. And like it, basically, it's been like it. I think it took like two years of living together to where I'm like, no, I like need to like list. I need to have something. Like some sort of, I need to fall asleep to something. Like I can't well, just. Can't you just put the sleep timer on with the TV? Because I do that, and that's worked wonders for me. No, I was gonna say, uh, in particular, not really. Not I'll really. literally have the T. I'll well back in the back in the old day, uh, I would have the TV the 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 sleep timer for probably an hour because by the time I get in yeah. the bed. And I'm curled up, and I'm comfortable, and I'm, I'm concentrating on watching. Ugh, gone. Yeah. Don't yeah. even know it's on. Like it's so. I'm. I'm very. I feel like if I were to be hypnotized, I should be easy to hypnotize. But who knows? Because I just I conk out. I can go real fast and pretend like I was. I'm fine. I'm awake. Baby's seen it tons of times. Yeah. So. Well, it's so <laughs> that's funny. why I just figured that. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And, and for me, it's there's something about watching TV that makes me tired. Mm. Okay. I was going to say, because just like lying in bed with nothing on, I'm just like. But if I'm oh, like no. trying to pay attention to something else, like. Boom. Yeah. So I was so I was going to say, unfortunately, though, um, like if I did have a timer, like it would just be too much. Like, so that's why I got to. I gotta have you would that. already know. You would know, like, okay, I know it's going to be about an hour, and you'll probably be the one waiting for it to t- to warn you that it's going to go to sleep. Yeah. Oh well, actually, I do that with the um, I do that with the episodes. So either you can um, you can have it like within like ten minutes or five minutes or an hour or when the episode ends, turn itself off. So like, but oh, also, okay. luckily, if I forget to do that, luckily, once the battery dies, it's done. Okay, so you're, yeah, either way you're covered. And then I'll just wake up and I'll be like, what's on my chest? And I'm like, I would have been like sleeping on the AirPod. Like, oh, it's, like, it's like embedded into my, like my chest. I'm just like. I feel like the AirPods at this point die too fast. 
and I don't like it at all. I do not like how they die. I was going to say, well, because remember how I had them when they first came out? Yeah. I had to, I had to get a new, I needed to get a new pair because I used them too much. Like the battery, uh, it would last for like maybe 20 minutes. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, I feel like that might be me then. Cause I feel like by the time I'd be using it and I'm walking around and then it just stops, it'll, it'll disconnect or it'll just, yeah. It'll no, like, that's, I'm yeah. Like, I, and I don't even think hers works as well at all. Like, I don't think her, her AirPods work at all. So it's just kind of like, damn, I probably need to get another pair or something. But then also, do we need them? Uh, I don't really think so. So, you know. Um, I was going to say. I, another and thing. Like, what was it? Oh, I was going to say before we, before we leave, leave. The other thing I was excited for was there was a Kickstarter that was sent to me. Um, I supported this uh, Kickstarter called Deadbeats 2. Uh, something to London. I can't remember the exact title, but they gave me the digital copy of the the book. So I, I'm excited to read that book. I just it's it's digital though on my iPad. So when I wanted to read the book, I fell asleep because I was in the bed. But you know, yeah, that was the other thing that I you reminded me because you were talking yeah. about the AirPods and stuff. But go ahead. Oh no, that's it. Woo! Yes, sir. I was say, we're good. Look at that. Hey. I was gonna say, well, we had a look at that. We got we did a night nightcap. Yeah, that. we didn't we didn't miss any this month. No, it was it, it, thank goodness. Look at us, look at us going. Head on the back. Ooh, ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. Ooh, multiple wait, hold, cats on the back. Ooh, hold on, hold on. You know what it is? I touched my I touched my phone for a second, and it was like it was like it was like let's switch it to. It's like let's switch it up. All right, so Mr. Rodney, Miss Joy, thank you so much. You are absolutely welcome. Thank you so much for being a part of this and being a part of this. Thank you so much for being a, 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 available for this. And yeah, thank you so much for, for having us. Thank you, Rodney, for being here. Appreciate you. Woo, we didn't miss a day. We did not. Do you remember the 21st the tw night of September? <laughs> This is the whole day for it. Woo! And we just got a copyright strike. Oklahoma? Oh, Yasamina Sai. Ooh, Joy. Joy, I don't see you. I think they throttle us. Look at her. She's stuck. Joy. Uh -uh. Yo! You, oh you, wow! You were stuck. They, th I, I swear, I really think they, I think they throttle us. I, I don't Yo. think it was my computer. I think they honestly throttle us after thirty minutes because that's when it started to get a little pixely. That's nuts. Yeah. Do you think so too? Because I honestly think. No, they your computer was your computer was laggy to me, and I was like, "What? But this is now. The, what do you mean?" At the thirty minute, at the thirty minute mark, that's when it they throttle, and then at the hour mark, boom. It's like, cut them off. Cut them off. Yeah. That was crazy. StreamYard. We love you. Mm. Hashtag sponsored by StreamYard. Uh, we still love you, but you got to stop throttling. Okay. I remember when. I remember, Unless, I remember when I lost my mind. Mm. But wait a minute. Did you notice how when I removed you and put you back, like you're like crystal clear now? Yes. I think I gotta do that. I gotta I just could be what joy? It's <laughs> like I'll be like, Joy, can you answer this very important question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Have a good night. Woo! Oh yes, I mean Oh yes, I mean Oklahoma. Look, I can't even pretend like I don't know how to say it now anymore. Oh yeah, kabada bada. I never oh, said that. I'll, I just say, I'll say Oklahoma. It. Oklahoma, oh yaka da ba da. Hey, tell your brother we said hi too. And your sister oh, we'll and do. mom and the kids. I was gonna say, tell baby I said I love her. I also will. Ricky said he loves you. She said thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.